Needle is an abbreviation for the National Emerging Infectious Diseases Laboratories. It is a research institute uh, dedicated to studying emerging, emerging infectious diseases. If you look at what's been happening over the last five to six years, there are a series of new infectious diseases which are coming in that we didn't know about very rapidly moving across the country. We don't have any immune system against these viruses, so it's a real threat for human health. And we have to do anything against it. With that kind of a rapid movement, we don't have the capacity nationally to be able to do research. And a facility like Needle is perfectly suited to meet that unmet need. The main goals of working in the Needle are First, to really understand the basic biology of these pathogens and to use that information to begin to develop uh, vaccines and therapeutics for them. The second and a very important reason for putting these into an academic medical center is to train new investigators to be able to work safely and handle these types of pathogens. The third mission of NEEDLE is to provide a safe and secure laboratory for research which is for both the employees and the community. And we have taken the approach of making safety as part of the culture of needles. So it is actually woven into the fabric of every aspect of the operation, from scientific to facilities, to health and safety, to emergency responses. I think the research that's going to be undertaken at the needle is important for a couple of different reasons. First, there are very few facilities that allow you to investigate many of the diseases that will be studied here. Second, these are agents uh, that kill humans or incapacitate them for extended periods of time. And I think our ability to be able to relieve suffering is one of the primary reasons for establishing uh, the Emerging Infectious Diseases Laboratories here. We are an academic institution dedicated to transparency in our research. What that means is that we're not going to do classified research, uh, nothing that is secret research. We will not be doing any research that has anything to do with offensive biologic weapons. Uh, we are about finding treatments and cures for these emerging infectious diseases. I think Boston University and the NAIL are really a very, very great place to do science on these highly pathogenic viruses because we have a collection of the best scientists worldwide that are really experienced in the work with these viruses. The individuals that we've recruited so far are individuals that have extensive experience in working in high containment as well as bring new tools to the study of infectious diseases. Internal oversight is provided by a number of oversight committees that we have, such as Institutional Biosafety Committee, that review and approve every single project before it is actually conducted. Then we have Office of Environmental Health and Safety, which is safety specialists in a broad spectrum of fields, and they provide independent site visits and verification that the research has been conducted as uh, written or as approved. In addition to that, there are external uh, agencies. Uh, one of them is Centers for Disease uh, Control and Prevention, the CDC, which registers certain types of biological agents. In Boston, any biological safety level three and a biological safety level four lab must have a registration and permit through the Public Health Commission. And that process actually provides approval of both the facility itself as well as the operational procedure. There are other agencies such as the Occupational Safety and Health Administration that looks at the overall uh, safety. The Massachusetts Water Resources uh, Authority looks at the discharges from the facility. So there are multiple of other agencies which will have oversight. The Needle facility is a, an engineering marvel. We've described it often as a vault within a submarine. And what that is really trying to capture is the area of the highest containment laboratory, the BL4 laboratory, within the building. The building itself contains biosafety level two, three, and four laboratories, as well as a clinical research and training facilities. These individuals in a biosafety level four are in a full suit, protective, with an air supply from outside, which 
make sure that they cannot get exposed. They always have a second employee with them. Training is a significant uh, factor into, into allowing you to enter into the facility. And coupled with the physical and structural engineering uh, requirements and the standard operating procedures makes it an extremely safe facility. There are a lot of things in place that are state-of-the-art in terms of the technology in this building for safety and security. When you approach the needle, the first thing you notice is that it's a standalone building. And by that I mean it sits in a fenced-in area, which is there for two reasons. One is to keep out vehicles, and one is to keep out pedestrians. With employees and visitors inside the building, we have a lot of systems in place to screen them as they come in, to track their movements throughout the building. The Needle facility has the most advanced security technology in place, the most advanced in terms of construction security, uh, the most advanced in terms of security personnel trained that I've ever been associated with. One major feature of this building, which is relatively unique to this, is what we call N plus one. That means every system, if you require one system, there's at least one redundancy for it. So all of the systems in Needle, which are related to health and safety, whether it's for the protection of the employees or the protection of the community at large and external environment, have at least one backup system. Many have asked the question about, uh, have there ever been an accident that's affected the community in a biosafety level four lab? And we can say without equivocation, with over a hundred years of experience of operating these labs collectively in North America, that there has never been any kind of accident that has resulted in a community outbreak of an infectious disease. My expectations for the needle is that uh, we'll continue to assemble a world-class group of investigators who are very interested in solving some of the most complex biological problems of pathogens and how they cause disease. Boston is a very special place, so the scientific density in Boston is most probably yeah, the highest worldwide. And the chance to collaborate with different people, with different interests and with different questions, it's so exciting and I think so useful, especially for this kind of research. Needle is built on the existing excellence of infectious disease research at Boston University. And this is the excellence that we have was one of the reasons why Boston University was actually selected in a competitive process to be the facility host. And certainly any advances we make in infectious diseases, any discoveries either in therapeutics or diagnostic will further advance us into the prominence in, in an infectious disease arena. I think the research operations are going to uh, have results on many fronts very quickly. And I think that we will likely have some new vaccine candidates within a couple of years. In the end, it's all about finding cures, saving lives. Mm -hmm.